Hi, I'm Minda Tracy from my online training hub. In this video, we're going to look at how we can use Excel to recreate this chart here. And the interesting feature in this chart is that the vertical axis has these text labels. Now, there's no native chart or easy way to achieve this in Excel. However, what we do know is with a regular bar chart, when you use one of those, we have a vertical axis with text labels. And when we insert a regular line chart, we have a horizontal axis with text labels. So what we want to do is combine the two charts and we'll do that with some dummy data. First of all, let's create our line chart. Now, I've laid my data out in a bit of an odd way just because this data here, I've had to recreate it manually. I don't actually have the data to hand and I've laid it out like this in order to achieve this effect with the lines. So let's go ahead and insert a line chart. Now the first thing we need to do is select the data and remove the year as a series. It's Excel has thought that this column here should be a series in the chart and actually it should just be for the horizontal axis labels. So we'll remove the year and then edit the axis labels and select this range and click OK and OK again. So now our chart is looking very similar to this. We've got the same line pattern anyway. The next thing we need to do is put our dummy data in, which is going to be the bar chart. So I'll copy, control C to copy, select my chart, control V to paste. Now it's made a right mess of our horizontal axis, but that's okay, we'll fix it. This is our series here. So these are our dummy values of one. So I want to right click and change the series chart type. And this is where I choose a bar chart and click OK. So now we have three axes. The top one is our secondary axis. And when you convert this dummy value to a bar chart, it automatically puts it on the secondary axis. So this is our secondary horizontal axis. What we're missing is our secondary vertical axis. So let's go ahead and add that because we just haven't got enough of them yet. Okay, so now we're having an axis party. We've got four of them. What we're going to do is tidy them up. So all we want is this vertical one over on the left and our horizontal one with for the years, which I'll tidy up as well. So the first thing I want to do is just select this top, but, uh, top horizontal axis and press the delete key. And then I want to hide this one. So I'm double clicking and it opens the format axis dialog box. Now, if you have Excel 2007, you have to right click and then select format axis. All right, we've got a bit to do in here. So I'm just gonna select fixed to zero, that's fine. This one I need to change to five. That's the maximum value in my data here. And that matches the five scales I have for my vertical axis. All right, my major unit will be one. And now I need to actually hide this axis. So I'm going to hide my tick mark, hide my labels. Uh, I need to hide my line. Okay, so I've got rid of that axis. Let's click on the next one. Notice how I haven't had to close this. I can just click through the different elements on the chart and my dialog box will update. So here what I want to do is hide every second label on my horizontal axis. So I'm going to change the interval to two and make that two as well. Now I'll also get rid of these tick marks. That's better because the chart behind that we're copying doesn't have these tick marks. Okay, next I'll move this vertical axis over to the left. So to do that, we need to hide these tick marks as well and then I'm going to choose low and that switches it across to the left. The other thing I want to do is hide the vertical line for my axis so let's go no line. All right so we fixed all our axis labels. Oh no one more thing back to our options. Notice how these labels aren't aligned to the horizontal lines. We can fix that by choosing this position axis on tick marks. Okay so the last thing we need to do is simply hide these bars and they're just a dummy series of data in order to get this secondary vertical axis in our chart. So I'm going to click on those and then fill, no fill. So they're hidden, I can click close and my chart is almost finished. 
All I want to do now is get rid of this legend. I'm going to just create a manual legend. Let's format these lines in the right color. So this one should be blue. This one should be red or this burgundy color. And if I can select it, this one should be a yellowy orange. Okay, I might make these horizontal bars a little lighter as well. There we go. All right, let's squish this down a little. So we've got some room for our text box. So now I just need to insert a text box that will contain my labels for all my legend, my manual legend that I'm going to make. And Moody's. Okay, let's just color code these to match because these are effectively our legend. And blue. I'll just move it. Oops. Move that text box up a little. Now, so there we have our Excel chart with a vertical text axis and horizontal axis. And you can see it's almost identical to this one. Obviously, my lines are slightly different because I don't have the same original data. I've had to sort of make it up. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to download this workbook, head over to my blog and click on the download link. You can also find step-by-step -step written instructions to recreate this chart. And if you're not on our Excel newsletter list, please sign up and receive more riveting videos like this one each week direct to your inbox. Thanks for watching.